we go. A review of the carotid sinus reflex. Using the picture straight off the website right here, which I hope will survive. What we got is a picture of the heart. And the heart down here, of course, as an aorta comes away from the thing. Here's the brachiocephalic artery on the right side. There's the subclavian artery. There's the right common carotid. Here's the left common carotid. The common carotid divides into the external carotid and the internal carotid, and then into the external carotid and internal carotid. The internal carotids represent a major blood supply heading towards the base of the brain uh, to the circle of willa, C-O-W, the cow. At the um, base of the internal carotids is a swelling known as the carotid sinus. And the carotid sinus is filled with presso and baroreceptors that are judging the amount of blood pressure heading towards the circle of willis, uh, trying to ensure that it's adequate and, again, not too great. <clears throat> the uh, carotid sinuses, if there is excess blood pressure, high blood pressure, they bulge outward. They will send signals to the medulla of the brain, specifically to the CIC, the CAC, and the VC. The CIC is the cardiac inhibitory center. It tries to slow down the heart rate. The CAC is the cardiac acceleratory center. It tries to speed up the heart rate and force of contraction. And the VC is the vasomotor center. It tries to regulate vasoconstriction of the blood vessels. Uh, let's take a, a look at a scenario. Let's say for some reason the blood pressure heading towards your brain is higher <clears throat> than it should be, dangerously high, perhaps causing an aneurysm, blowing something out. If the blood pressure here is high, uh, information relayed to the CIC tries to get the CIC to help to bring the blood pressure down. The way the CIC would do that is increasing parasympathetic signals to the SA node. So the CIC is sort of like the brakes. You put the brakes on and you try to slow down the heart rate. If you slow down the heart rate, you'll slow down the or reduce the cardiac output. And if you do that, you can reduce the blood pressure, save the brain. Well, also signals are going from the carotid sinus to the CAC, the cardiac acceleratory center. If the blood pressure is too high, the CAC will respond by sending less sympathetic signals to the heart, to the SA node and the AV node, and less signals to the cardiac muscle. Uh, less sympathetic signals means a slower heart rate because this was the gas and you're taking your foot off the gas. Uh, also, it was uh, causing greater force of contraction and less of this means less force of contraction. And all that translates to lower cardiac output, lower blood pressure. But also the carotid sinus relates to the vasomotor center and the vasomotor center will respond by sending less sympathetic signals to the blood vessels, thus allowing the blood vessels to expand. Uh, less vasoconstriction means more space, and that means the blood pressure would go down. So the carotid sinus communicating with these three centers within the medulla can respond to high blood pressure by getting the heart rate to go down, the force of contraction to go down, and the vasoconstriction to become less, thus solving the problem. If we were to reverse the numbers and say that the blood pressure was too low, what would happen is signals to the CAC <clears throat> would uh, decrease the um, parasympathetic signals, uh, thus uh, causing allowing the heart rate to go up. It would increase the signals from the CAC, thus increasing the heart rate and the force of contraction, and it would increase signals from the vasomotor center, thus increasing vasoconstriction and thereby increasing blood pressure.